Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube video. Today in the video I'm going to be explaining or providing a guide for how to recreate the UNSC Pelican from the Halo games um, in Starfield. There's a couple things to keep in mind before we get started on the build portion, um, which is if you're having trouble recreating or having the modules um, that are shown in this video today. It could be because every spaceport is a little bit different on the modules that they offer for ship customization. Um, I believe the two spaceports that I use to create this ship are New Atlantis in the Alpha Centauri system and Aquila over in the Cheyenne system. So if you're ever curious about that, those are the two spaceports that I use to create this entire ship. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the build portion. All right, beginning today's build, we're gonna be starting with our habitat modules that we're gonna use to create the main shape of the Pelican. So here you can use whatever uh, company name you'd like, it does not matter but we're gonna start with a three by one module and then a two by one module mounted on top here, just like that. And from here to the front side of the two by one module, we're gonna add a structural component. So we're gonna scroll on over to the structural tab and add this Dymos cowling. And that leaves us a nice little space to mount our cockpit which will be the Armstrong 20E cockpit. I believe there are a few different variations of the Armstrong cockpit, um, but this is the one that I liked best, so that's the one that we're going with. And now at this point, we can flip the ship upside down just like this and mount our landing gears underneath. And we're gonna be going with the AccuLander 11 landing gears. So looking at this, you can see it's not even on both sides. But if we select it and then click our flip key, you can see that the shape is changing a little bit. And so we'll go ahead and select this one because it's an even, it's an even module on both sides. And that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and add another structural component real quick, which will be the Tayo cowling. We'll select this and flip it upside down to have it mounted underneath the main cockpit here. And uh, yeah, the shape is, is starting to take. So moving on to our next component, let's go ahead and add our, uh, our loading bay or landing bay, excuse me. We're gonna be going with the 120 LD. We'll flip it around and mount that. Now the only problem here is that there aren't connection points to the side of this landing bay, but there's a pretty easy way around that. So we'll go back to this three by one module and scroll on over to the habs and add some one by one habitats. And now we can mount the rest of our landing gears underneath these one by one modules. take a front view and make sure that these are even. All right. So moving on to the wings, we'll go back to the structural tab. Scroll all the way down and add Nova wings to either side of the aircraft here. And as you can see, the shape is uh, continuing to progress and it looks pretty good. So now we'll add our reactor and our graph drive. Um, it does not matter which it is or like which variation of graph drive and reactor that you use in your own build. Um, as long as it's a module that supports connection points on either side and to the rear. So because of that we can mount our graph drive onto our reactor and then our engines onto our graph drive. Today we're going to be going with the Ares DT30 engines here. 
we'll mount one onto either side there and then scroll on back to the structural tab and add these dimos bumpers on either side all right that's starting to look pretty good um, that is pretty much it for the main shape although in our airs tab we're going to be missing a docker and fuel tanks so let's go ahead and just add those real quick and i'll i'll place them where i recommend to put them but again it's all personal it's personal preference and it's up to you so i like to go with the uh, the slim docker mounted on top there i think it looks pretty good and then for our fuel tanks i'm gonna scroll on over and I have the Titan 450s mounted to the front here. Um, you can add whichever you like, but for me, for the purposes of this aircraft in game, um, I like the size of these fuel tanks, so that's the one that I use. And then here we can add some cargo modules um, just to help with storage in the ship, and it sort of helps smoothen the shape of the aft end of the aircraft here and then some other personal things that you can add um, additionally you can add some where are they yeah some engines here i on my own build have white dwarf engines mounted on either side of the of the fuselage here but again it's personal preference this is just a guide um, to get you the main shape of the UNSC Pelican from Halo. And at this point, I believe that we've achieved that. So any further modifications from here on out are going to be up to you, uh, whichever you'd like to do. But I think overall the shape is pretty accurate and it looks really good. So before we go, I'll just go ahead and select all of these modules by holding down Control and left clicking I believe that's it and then we can go ahead and just change the color and boom just like that you have yourself a UNSC Pelican in Starfield so thank you so very much for following along with this guide um, I hope you enjoyed the way it turns out as much as I did. And if there's anything that you would want to see me try to build in the future, please write it down in the comments below. Um, I'll try to read all of them and respond to most if I can. So once again, I hope you enjoyed and have a blessed day. I'll talk to you all later.